so now i am inviting myself okay so my presentation will be on uh, burden of differential features of cholera and non cholera water diarrhea among under 5 children in a case control study actually this is a by product of another study so i am just very quickly showing next slide please. so a brief back background liquid or watery uh, diarrhea either cholera or non cholera is an uni is a universal health, health problem among infants and young children including bangladesh and data on epidemiology and differential features of cholera and non cholera watery diarrhea are limited in this information is and this information is helpful in uh, proper management of watery diarrhea to avoid and or control unethical use of antibiotics this study aim to assess the case load of cholera and non cholera watery diarrhea and what are the differential features between them so this study was uh, carried out using the data collection between 1996 and 2014 in a hospital based diarrheal disease surveillance system in the dhaka hospital of icddrb the ddss enrolled uh, 2% every 50th uh, uh, patients regardless of age sex and diarrheal severity and it uh, this uh, uh, surveillance is approved by the irb of icddrb the data included inf information on socio demographic factors environmental history clinical characteristics nutritional status and diarrhea pathogen so the result a total uh, uh, more than 21000 under 5 children were studied among them around 21000 children were admitted with features of watery diarrhea but their rectal swab culture were negative for shigella so there is a confusion with that uh, children that it's cholera or not cholera so total uh, uh, 21000 uh, watery diarrhea children were studied their mean age was around 15 years 40 40% were girl and uh, around 11% children had uh, cholera and uh, this is the uh, report uh, about the logistic regression and the red uh, uh, marking are showing that the, these are the risk factor for cholera for example uh, age more than 12 years stool frequency more than uh, 10 per uh, every last 24 hours and if there is absence of abdominal pain it is uh, telling that it's non cholera diarrhea presence of some or severe dehydration is uh, predicting its cholera predominant breastfeeding up to 6 months it's a protective factor and uh, cholera is more common during warmer month between april and september illiterate mother uh, did not uh, could not show complete uh, uh, significance level but but more uh, uh, a bit more uh, sample size could show that and mother works out of home it's a risk factor for cholera so other significant insignificant insignificant factor those are actually uh, uh, looked for but were not found as a risk factor those are stool consistency fever wasting stunting family member having uh, diarrhea in last seven days receiving antibiotic uh, no, no treatment of drinking water illiterate parent slum residents not receiving vitamin a during uh, last 6 month uh, use of non uh, sanitary latrine history of diarrhea in last uh, 30 days and history of cough and fever so the summary is you can predict uh, cholera in watery diarrhea if the age is more than 12 months if the stool frequency is more than 10 if there is some or severe dehydration and if it is in warmer month and the mother is working and the protective factor for cholera is breastfeeding definitely and absence of abdominal uh, pain and the effect of uh, cholera is cholera patients needed in patient admission a bit more in frequency they need more intravenous fluid and the fatality rate actually in cholera and non cholera was very less because it's icddrb hospital but maybe different in other areas it's 0% almost in cholera and around 1.1% in uh, non cholera children so the summary is that around 11% of all diarrheal death uh, causes are under 5 children and those uh, risk factor uh, 
can you can uh, help for prediction and there will be uh, better management with those uh, predictive factor and less use of uh, antibiotic actually this study was done in under 5 children but this is not the less uh, not not the final actually so we have a plan to do it in elder children because their risk of death is high and also in pregnant uh, uh, women and also we have to collect uh, the, the latest data that the data was actually five six years before that was a secondary data and uh, yeah thank you very much